Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Funa Review. I'm your host Sana from Foodgram Life. Today we're at a very cool place. This is a takeaway outlet in I8 Mughal Market and it's called Abe Khao. Abe Khao is the brainchild of Fezan Raza, who belongs to a family of individuals at various levels of hearing loss. So Fezan wanted to start his own business. He loves food and he wanted to break the barriers between the deaf community and the rest of Islamabad. In this video, we will meet Faizan Sidi Milenge who is going to talk about the story behind Abe Khao. So let's go order and see what all they have to offer. So when you come to Abe Khao, you have to remember that their employees are also deaf because they are trying to employ more people from the deaf community and empower them. So, they have all the signs mentioned on their menu and so you have to sign what you want to order. Alright, so first of all, we are trying the fries that they have here. They have a whole bunch of options but we opted for something that's different. We got the tornado fries. All right, so these are the tornado fries. So they're spiral cut and then they're put on the stick and deep fried. They're very well seasoned. And go for it. Mm. So they're really, really nice and crispy. They're well seasoned. It's like a masala dala vai. It's really, really yummy. If you are having one of those hunger cravings and don't know what else to get, this is a really good option. All right, so next we have this wonton sambosa. Not a samosa, it's the sambosa because they don't use your typical samosa wrapper that you get commercially. They make their own wrappers and they make it through a pasta machine. They make their own dough. And inside, why is it called a wonton samosa? It's got noodles. There's a green chutney and a ketchup with it. So it's got a really yummy kind of spring roll kind of filling inside it. It's got chicken, it's got noodles, some vegetables and the crust is really nice, fresh and interesting. I haven't had something like this before. I should warn you that it's a little spicy. It's got some red chilli flakes that I can see. So it's not that spicy but it's a little bit. And then this chutney with it is perfect I think. Alright so we've got the star of the show. This is the bilingual burger. Now, the story behind the bilingual burger is it's got two chicken fillets in it, it's got the special fusion sauce, a slice of cheese and some lettuce to go with it. And it's called bilingual because we're here, we're talking about sign language, we're breaking barriers and food is the best way to do it. Now, this is a very big burger. I'm going to try to put all of it in my mouth. Ooh! Okay. So it's a soft fresh bun and the chicken filet is perfectly crispy. I love the combination of the fusion sauce. The fusion sauce is mayo based, kind of tastes like Thousand Island. It's really delicious, goes very very well with this burger. It's a little bit tangy. I think it's a, it's a great accompaniment to this burger. I'm going to finish this. Alright, so now we're ready for my favorite part every single time which is dessert. They have two basic desserts on their menu which is the chocolate cabro and I asked the owners what that meant. Cabro is basically a combination of cake and brownie. It's a cakey brownie. It's got chocolate sauce on it. And then something I don't think you'll find anywhere else in Islamabad is the twisted Korean donut. So this is how they have donuts in Korea. They're twisted. It's a yeast based donut and here they've covered it with chocolate sauce. I must get into it. Mm. It's soft moist, it's really fresh and it's covered with this really luscious chocolate sauce. Alright, so we're going into the chocolate cabro. Very soft. So I would describe this more as a cake. It's, um, as you can see, it's quite well risen. It's got a really nice chocolate flavor to it. It's a great sweet pick-me-up for any time of the day. If you're into desserts, you like chocolate, definitely go for this. And I love this chocolate sauce. Next, to end this entire meal, we've got the AK or Abe Khao infused chai. This is a special mixed infused chai that they make right here in-house. 
It's got cardamom and other spices, all to enhance the flavor of the tea. As you know, chai is Pakistan's favorite beverage. And if you like milky, dood patti sort of tea, this will be great to round up your meal and end the evening. Delightful meal at Abe Khao. Bohat mazaya. I think this is such a great experience, not just with the food, but learning how to sign. I learned something new. When you come here, I'm sure if you don't know sign language, you will definitely learn something new. The people behind this are amazing, lovely people. I definitely recommend that you come here and give the food a try. Yeah.